All right, so what we want to do now is take our Photoshop file and start laying it out in Dreamweaver. We've sliced it all up. And what I've done, since I am going to put this file, I'm also going to work with WordPress, I have taken it and I've placed the file. This is just for WordPress. If you're working with WordPress, so if not, you can really put it anywhere on your hard drive. I have it, I've have placed my file in my MAMP folder. In htdocs, I have a folder called PC Links. And in here, I have all of my images that I sliced up my background, all these different pieces. I also have a file for style.css. I don't have any of the styles written yet. And I've also created a folder um, for inside of here for images and for JavaScript and an index.html. So don't worry, you don't have those just yet, um, but make sure your file's in the right place. So what I want to do is I want to open up Dreamweaver and I want to create my site. So I can come on in, site, new site. Now, but I've already done this, so I'm going to come to site manages. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It would do new site, mine's WordPress. Uh, I'm going to edit the site. So what I want to see here is local site folder is WordPress. Then I need to add my server. And I can click right in here. And I'm, I had to add it, but I'm going to edit. So you can see it's going to be named testing. It's local network. Um, this is the URL, localhost to the folder. If we go into advanced, PHP MySQL, we'll hit save, we'll make sure it's on testing, save. Now we'll come in and we'll start to create our file and create our folders. We can see we have everything in here. I want to start with index.html. I'm going to open up that file. I already have it opened. I want to be, I'll be in the source code here. I'm going to stick in design view and start to work. And here it goes. Okay, so step one after you have designed your site is to set it up in Dreamer. If you have a hard, if you had a hard time following what I just did, go and take a look at my videos under Dreamweaver for setting up a site in Dreamweaver, setting up a site in Dreamweaver when working with WordPress. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to set my background. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to open up my properties window, and I'm going to click on the page properties. I'm going to go into my appearance CSS. I'm going to go to my background image. I'm going to browse and I am going to find my background. I am going to open it and I can set it. I'm going to actually set it at no repeat. I could just leave it as it is and naturally it will repeat if it needs to. So I'll just leave it as it is um, and hit OK. And there we have it. There's our background image. I can come back and reference my Photoshop file and say, OK, next thing I want to do is I want to place this image in here. Now, let me go and check the size of this because I'm going to make the div tag for this just about that size. So I'll come on in, come into my images, I'll go to the grid, and I can see that that is 923 by 1173. So I'm actually going to make my container 950 by 1200. And it's a good idea to write all these numbers down, draw them all out. 950 by 1200. So here it goes. Come on in over to here. Open up my insert window. I'm going to go to insert div tag. I'll hit div tag. Now at insertion point, yes, that's fine. I do want it to be at insertion point. And that just means it's going to be right at the beginning body tag. New CSS rule. I want it to be attached to style.css. It will be an ID because there will only be one header per page. I'll hit OK. I'm sorry. I don't want it to be header. I'm losing my mind. I want it to be container. I said that incorrectly. My font family. I'm going to set it at Georgia. We're going to go for Georgia. Let me see here. Okay. New CSS rule. Let me come back here. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go in. Let's make the box. I'm going to stick with the box. The box is 950, 950. The height is 1200. I'm going to uh, maybe put undo same for all of the margins. Maybe put 10 pixels from the top. I'm going to put my right in at auto. I'll put my left in at auto. And I'm going to put the background. I'm going to set this grid paper as the background open and I could look at the repeal repeat thing. I'm going to keep it as it is. I might come back in and work with 
the repeat and the scroll depending upon the content. I'll hit OK, OK, and there we have it. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to also close this. My CSS styles and my insert window are going to be my two windows I'm going to work with. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come, I'm going to delete this content that is right in here. Okay, there we have it. I want to insert my next div tag. I'm going to come to Photoshop and I'm going to think to myself, hmm, how big do I want this to be? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is the header. All right, now you can take a measurement tool. I could go in and look at the size of this actual image. But what else you could do is come on into Photoshop, come to the preferences, go to units and rulers, and change it into, let's look at uh, pixels. All right, we have column size. I'm going to keep that as it is. But we want to go to pixels, 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 pixels. There it is. Okay. Um, and we'll leave it as that. We want to really focus in on pixels. I'll hit OK. I'm going to take a measurement. I always like to think of this as a ruler. So I'm going to take my rectangular marquee and I'm going to kind of draw a little box around this. And as I come through, I can see, oh, okay, 785 by 95, 785 by 95, 785 by 95. I'm writing this down. My header is going to be 785 by 95. All right, here goes. I will deselect this. I took my measurement, I wrote my measurement down, deselect. Come back over into Dreamweaver and I'm going to insert my header. So I'm going to come on in here, I'm going to say insert div and I'll say now, this one will be after start of tag because I want it to be inside of container. So it'll be container, I'll name this one header. This one will be a new CSS rule. It will go on style.css. I'll hit OK. And I'm going to go to the box. I said the box is going to be 785 by 95. The width is 785. The height is 95. I will put the margins. Definitely I'm going to want some space from the top. And I'm thinking maybe 25. I can change this as I need to. Let me start with the right and the left at auto, but I actually, what I'm going to do is um, take, get rid of it on the right and maybe just put it in 50 pixels from the left and we'll see how that looks. We'll say, okay. Okay. And there it is. I actually think it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of this content. Content for ID header goes here. I do want to move it over a little bit. I can already tell that. Now I'm going to insert my image. Image. And I will find my header. Wherever it is. It's here somewhere. Header. Open. Now, I am going to definitely fill this out. Because this is what is needed for... A, um, a website where someone is, um, actually what I should do, forget that, I'll, I'll clip into here and make it link to index. Perfect. So if someone clicks it, that header it will take them back to the home page. Much better. Okay. Now, I want to put my info in here because this helps with how the site is indexed helps with how it's indexed and also for people who have screen readers. So I'll hit OK and there we have it. Now let's see, maybe I want to move it over a little bit and if that's the case, maybe I even want to make this a little bit bigger, I could do that as well. So I can come over to my CSS styles. If you don't have your CSS styles window, just come on up to window, CSS styles and I can see my whole um, header. I can see my whole header right in here. And I can, uh, let's see, let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to make the width, put the width up. Let's put the width in at 800. Makes it a little bit bigger. And actually, I want to put the height a little bit up. What am I thinking? 100, maybe even a little bit more height. Okay, great. Now, maybe my margin on the left. And I think that's looking pretty okay. So we'll click and we'll leave this one be. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to divide it. We're going to create a main content area. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit in here. Pull this over. 
and I'm going to take another measurement. I'm going to think about this space down in here. So I'm going to click on to this and I am going to take a measurement. Here comes our measurement. We click on to this and uh, I'll grab onto that and I'll start right here. Okay, so let's see. Let's put this 815 by 995. I'll write it down. 815 by 995. I'll deselect, come back into Dreamweaver, and I insert my next div tag. Come on in. Come to common div. Now this one I'm going to say after tag, and I want it to be after the header tag. I'm going to name this main content. I'm going to create a new CSS rule. It's going to go on style.css. It's an ID and I'm going to make a box. I'm going to make the box 815 by 995. The width is 815. The height is 995. And I'm going to put in 20 pixels from the top. Whoops, I'm going to undo same for all. I'm going to turn right to auto, left to auto, and I'm going to erase the bottom measurement. And I'll hit OK. OK. And now we have this next little piece right here. OK, I can delete this part out. Content for main ID goes in here. Now I'm going to create the next two boxes. So I'm going to come on in back in the Photoshop and you can see I'm taking my measurements in Photoshop and I'm going to uh, take a measurement for this side. So I'll come right over here. We can see this one could be... Okay, so we have 280 by 960. 280 by 960. I'm going to write this down. 280 by 960. Then I have my measurement over here. This one is... We'll make this 520 by 960. We'll keep it the same. 520. 520 by 960. And here goes. Come on back. Open up Dreamweaver. We insert our div tag. Now we want it to be inside of main content. Therefore, we will we will put it in after start of tag. So we hit insert div and we're going to say after start of tag, after start of con up, oh, after start of main content, and I'll make this one content one, new CSS rule. Okay, I'm going to again. I'm just really focused on making the boxes right now. As I start plugging in the other little pieces, then we'll start throwing in the images and making things work a little bit better. So the width for my first box here was 280 and I made the height 960. Now I want this to be on the left side, so I need to say float left. HTML will go top to bottom. And I think that that's okay right from here. We'll hit okay. Okay, there it is. Now we need to do the next one. So we'll come on in, we'll say insert div. We'll say after tag. And this one will be after content one. We'll name this content Two. This one comes after content one. I'll name this new CSS rule. It goes on the style CSS. We'll come in. The size of this box will be 520 by 960. The width is 500, 520. The height is 960. This one we need to float right. We hit OK. OK. And there we have it. We have our two columns. So what we have successfully done right now, I'll come on in, file, save all, and what I can see I have successfully done, I've written all of these different rules. Looks like I have two containers though, so that's not so good. Let me get rid of this container. We want to always make sure that we're not making a whole bunch of rules. So I have my container, my header, main content, content one, content two. I've created the boxes. In the next video, I will go over how you then go about taking these objects, creating the div tags for them, and placing them inside 
of the columns. This will be a sidebar, and we, this will be like our sidebar. We can say content one, content two. We can start getting them all placed in. Take a look at the next video for that.